Hey folks, I hope you're well. This week we are thinking about another flavour of the fruit of the spirit and that is kindness. Now, when you hear the word kindness, I don't know about you, but I, it's a bit of a wishy-washy word, isn't it? It's nice, it's kind. But actually, kindness can be something that has a big impact. Even the small acts of kindness can make a big difference to people. Think about a time where someone's done something kind for you and how good it made you feel. Maybe someone helped you in a way that they didn't have to. Maybe someone gave you something when it wasn't your birthday or Christmas and the way that that made you feel. Now, at its core, kindness is about a thoughtfulness for others, putting their needs before our own. And God is incredibly kind. In fact, in the Old Testament, the word kindness, chesed, is used 240 times, over 240 times, about God. God is kind in his actions towards his people. And he wants us to have that kind of kindness too. He wants us to grow in kindness. In the book of Ruth in the Old Testament, we have a story about kindness shown by Ruth to her mother-in-law, Naomi. Now, Naomi's husband and both her sons have died and she is devastated and she just wants to go home. And Ruth says that she'll go with her. Ruth is willing to give up her family, her home and go to somewhere completely foreign with her mother-in-law. Why does she do that? She shows incredible kindness. She puts Naomi's needs above her own and she says that she'll give up everything to go with Naomi and her God back to Naomi's homeland. So they do. And when they get there, Naomi gets a job uh, picking wheat up in the field and she receives kindness from the guy that owns the field, Boaz. In fact, really, it's a story not just of Ruth's kindness and of Boaz's kindness, but God's kindness. God has been working through this whole story. God's kindness is right there because he takes this story of despair and heartache and homelessness and he turns it around and makes a story of hope and new life. You see, Ruth and Boaz end up getting married and they have a child and that child has kids and kids and kids and kids and all the way down the family tree until we get to our rescuer, Jesus, who is the living embodiment of God's kindness. Think about how Jesus lived. He was kind to everyone. He was meeting people's needs, caring for them, spending time with them. It didn't matter who they were. And as we grow more like Jesus, we will start to be kind in our thoughts, in our actions, and in our attitude. We just need to keep asking God for help with it because it's not always easy, is it, to put someone else's needs before our own. So maybe this week, you could talk to God about it. You could ask God, God, help me to be kind like you are kind. Help me to see who needs help. Give me eyes to see the people that need help. Show me where and who I can be kind to. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you in the building next week. Bye.